Hello family, we thank God for today. We bless him for another day. He's a gracious God. He's a loving father. Today, as we continue to pray for the US, my prayer focus is for single mothers. Before I pray, my passage of scripture is Proverbs 31 from verse 25 to 30. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. She looks well to the ways of her household, and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. Father, this is the word that is given in scripture depicting the strength, the dignity and the attributes of a mother, of a married woman who we've all come to know as the virtuous woman. Father, Lord, women have a significant role to play in the lives of their family and in particularly in the lives of their children. Father, we know that you instituted family and Lord God, it was your will or was your will or has been your will from the foundations of the earth that children would be raised by both mother and father. But sometimes we know that for various reasons, that is not always the case. And so, Father God, many women in America today find themselves as being single parents, some because maybe they were never married to the person that they had a child with, some may be because they divorced, some may be because they've even lost their their partners, Lord. Whatever the circumstance is, which is why they find themselves as single parents, Lord God, the fact still remains, the truth still remains that these women are dear to your hearts. You've got a great plan for their lives and a great plan for the lives of the children that they have been entrusted with. But we know that being a single parent is not an easy task at all. Father God Almighty, particularly for those who may have young children, for those who may be struggling on a day-to-day basis to even provide for the basic needs of their children, Father God, today, therefore, as we lift up every single mother to you, we're praying that, Lord God, you will visit every single mother, particularly those who are finding themselves trapped with all manner of cares, worrying daily as to how they would cope mentally, emotionally, how they can be strong for their children, how they can put food on their children and perhaps nurture and train their children in the way that is pleasing to you, Father God. I pray that, God, you will meet them at the point of their need in the name of Jesus. For those single mothers who are believers and have a family of believers surrounding them, I pray that may you raise up men and women of God who genuinely have the fear of God to support them, to mentor them, to be sort of like an encourager to these women, Father God. And that Lord God Almighty, where those individuals have the opportunity to be a blessing in providing the needs of these single mothers and the needs of their children, may you cause people to step up that they will not look for God Almighty unconcerned. For I'm reminded of your scripture that says, if somebody comes begging or they have a need and the person isn't able to provide that need, but sends that person who is asking away and says to them that they would pray that they haven't really done much. So I'm praying that Father God, let this be the season where believers who have friendships um, with people that are single mothers will step up and will look for opportunities to be a blessing to them, Lord God, those single mothers and their families. I also pray that God, you will protect single mothers from being exploited. Father God, in the name of Jesus, even O God Almighty, by society at large in the USA, Lord God, and particularly those single mothers who may be in relationships, but maybe the people that they're in relationships with are not the right ones for them, or maybe abusing them, or maybe even extending that abuse and violence to their children. I just pray that you 
will remove those um, men or men that are in the lives of these women in the name of Jesus and bring the right people their way, O oh God. Those, O oh God, who may have children who have gone wayward and Lord God has become a burden that they carry every single day. I pray the spirit of the living God, may you comfort these women. May you give them wisdom as to how to handle the situation that they face with, Lord. May you give them the ability to love their children unconditionally, particularly those children, oh God, that are causing them pain. And I just pray that by your supernatural power, protect these children from harm and danger. Protect these children from the attacks of the enemy intended to destroy them, O oh God. So Father God, where every day they are praying that their children will come back home safely because of God of the cry, deep cries of the hearts of these single mothers. May you, O oh God, afford their children supernatural protection and that God, the enemy, will not have a field day with these, these um, children of theirs, Lord. For every single mother that has by your grace been able to provide for their children, nurture their children, and their children are now adults. And maybe they are trusting that their children will have families of their own. Father, may you answer them from your holy sanctuary. May you bless their children, O oh God, that they will live. These women themselves will live, O oh God Almighty, to enjoy the fruits, O oh God, of every labor, of every love they've invested in their grown-up children. May you cause them, O oh God, to be grandmothers, so God, who would be a blessing to their grandchildren. Sustain them, Father God, in their old age, O oh God. And whatever their cries of their hearts is, I pray that, God, you will supply according to your riches and glory. For those single mothers who may even find themselves in prison, Lord God, and therefore are not in the lives of their children, Lord, I pray that you will give them opportunity by your supernatural power, Father God, to find creative ways to be involved in their children where they've been. Um, their children do not want to have anything to do with them. I just pray for restoration of those broken relationships in the name of Jesus and where those women need to make amends. God, give them opportunity to do so. Father God Almighty, and to turn over a new leaf, Father, so that God, when you bring that opportunity to restore those broken relationships, they will capitalize on it and they will not do anything to jeopardize it, Lord. I also pray for every single mother whose child, Father God Almighty, is sick and perhaps have been given a bad doctor's report. Lord, comfort them. Lord, give them hope. Lord, cause them to encounter people who may be able to share the message of the gospel, the message of hope to them, so that God Almighty, in their moments of despair, they will know that they can run to you, Jesus, the rock of our salvation, you who is the one who binds up the brokenhearted. And may you also supernaturally visit their children and bring a divine turn around in the name of Jesus in the lives of those children, mothers who do not know how they put food on the table for their children today. Jesus, if you have to send an angel to them in day, today and in days to come, please do so and give them hope. Give them hope, Lord, and give them joy and your peace that passes all understanding in the glorious and mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We're now going to go over our memory verse in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brothers, Whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. We're personalising it by saying, whatever is true, whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. Things that are worthy of praise. Those are the things I think about. The Lord bless you. And I would encourage you if you can, in your own quiet moments, if you could please lift up single mothers in America before the Lord and extend it even to single mothers all over the world because we hear stories um, every now and then. And for some of us, we may hear stories more than others of how difficult it is for some of these single mothers. So let's continue to pray that the Lord God will visit these single mothers and, and just ease their burden in Jesus' name. Amen.